Morning folks, it is Thursday morning um, and it is the 10th of December and it is the last official day of our lockdown. As of tomorrow, um, some of the shops start to open again. So what we're go I'm going to do, I'm going to do a reading this morning and then tomorrow morning again um, just to finish off this time of lockdown and then we'll see how things go from there. But for these two days I thought, see we've finished um, First and Second Thessalonians, take the two letters in the New Testament which in our Bibles only consist of one chapter. So this morning we're going to read Philemon. So let's read it together. This letter is from Paul, a prisoner for preaching the good news about Christ Jesus, and from our brother Timothy. I am writing to Philemon, our beloved co-worker, and to our sister Aphia, to our fellow soldier Archippus, to the church that meet in your house. May God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. I always thank my God when I pray for you, Philemon, because I keep hearing about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all of God's people. I am praying that you will put into action the generosity that comes from your faith as you understand and experience all the good things we have in Christ. Your love has given me much joy and comfort, my brother, for your kindness has often refreshed the hearts of God's people. That is why I am boldly asking a favour of you. I could demand it in the name of Christ because it is the right thing for you to do. But because of our love, I prefer simply to ask you. Consider this as a request from me, Paul, an old man who is now also a prisoner for the sake of Christ Jesus. I appeal to you to show kindness to my child, Onesimus. Nearly got that out. I became his father in the faith while here in prison. Omnisimus hasn't been of much use to you in the past, but now he is very useful to both of us. I am sending him back to you, and with him comes my own heart. I want to keep him here with me a while. I am in chains for preaching the good news, and he would have helped me on your behalf. But I didn't want to do anything without your consent. I wanted you to you had to help because you were willing, not because you were forced. It seems you lost Omnisimus for a little while so that you could have him back forever. He is no longer like a slave to you. He is more than a slave. He is a beloved brother, especially to me. Now he will mean much more to you, both as a man and as a brother in the Lord. So if you consider me your partner, Welcome him as you would welcome me. If he has wronged you in any way or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this with my own hand. I will repay you. And I won't mention that you owe me your very soul. Yes, my brother, please do me this favour for the Lord's sake. Give me this encouragement in Christ. I am confident as I write this letter that you will do what I ask and even more. One more thing. Please prepare a guest room for me, for I am hoping that God will answer your prayers and let me return to you soon. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, sends you his greetings, as do Mark, Articrus, Demas, Luke, my co-workers. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. One of Paul's shortest letters that we have on record and a very personal letter, um, in some ways similar to <clears throat> other things that he's written. In other ways, very different because it's so personal. The same because he introduces himself in the same way as a, as a prisoner um, and as a servant. And he talks about love and praying for the person who he's writing the letter to. Um, he, he underlines to Philemon just the relationship that they have. And then the personal part comes in when he asks that Philemon would accept, accept back Omnisimus and forgive him. It does mention in that letter that he is a slave um, and that he has been Philemon's slave. Scholars would tell us as well through the name that they would know that it was a slave name. So what Omnisimus has done, we presume he has run away. Um, but while he has been on the run, he has encountered Paul or has been somewhere where Paul has been and preached and he has come to faith. 
and he has tracked down Paul and or they've been in prison together for some reason and now he's been released and Paul is encouraging him to go back to Philemon. I'm sure Paul is telling Omnisimus that he must go back and ask for forgiveness for what he has done. It's the right thing to do to go back and say that he is sorry for running away or sorry for anything that he has stolen as he did that. Um, I must ask for forgiveness, but at the same time, he's also asking Philemon to forgive. Yeah, that's the whole crux of the Christian faith. Christ forgives us. Christ is our means of forgiveness with God. Uh, and nothing is held against us. We're, there, we're asked to show the same sort of love to others. To forgive and not to hold a grudge. To actually learn to work with somebody. I'm sure all of us can point to somebody who has wronged them at some stage in the past. Somebody who did something that wound you up the wrong way or somebody who was nasty to you or cruel to you. And yet God asks us to forgive them. To show them the love and the patience which he shows to us. We freely accept that. But it's hard for us to give it to others, isn't it? So there's a challenge for us today. Who who has wronged us in the past, today can we forgive, genuinely forgive. And if we were to meet them, that we would be able to greet them and greet them well and greet them in a way which honours God. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for all you've done for us through your son, Jesus. In turn, Father, Help us to forgive others. Those who have wronged us, Lord, help us to be able to move on, move forward, to forgive them. Especially, Lord, if, if it is someone who is in our spiritual family, that we would be able to put our arms around them and say, I forgive you. And at the same time, Lord, that they would seek forgiveness. Father, be with us this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me. Uh, trust that you have a good day. I will see you again for the last, for another while, until we have another lockdown tomorrow morning. So until then, take care and God bless. Bye.